And if you want something that absolutely slaps, does vulnerable, and just annihilates multiple enemies, Bone Spear is your build. So this is a no minion bone spear, bone spear build, which is gonna crit everything, make everything vulnerable, and just deal massive amounts of damage. So we are doing no minions. However, if you wanted to do minions, you could definitely do this build with minions. That will be for a different video. So let's get into the abilities and everything that you need for the build. So starting at the top, we are doing bone splinters into Acolyte's bone splinters by hitting the same enemy to give us a high crit chance. However, if you wanted to do Initius bone splinters to have a possibility to make them vulnerable, this is also good. We also tested this with Reap into Acolyte's Reap. So the very first enemy that you hit is going to form a corpse. And this is going to help us on a rotation to do a lot of damage. Okay, but we're going to do bone splinters just to because of our key passive here. So we come down to our core skills, of course, of course, Bone Spear into Supernatural to make the very first enemy hit beyond or hit vulnerable. Okay, then we're doing three points into Unliving Energy for more essence, and then three points into Imperfectly Balanced for more damage, but Bone Spear will cost more. Three points into Hued Flesh to give us a chance to spawn a corpse when we hit somebody. One point into Blood, uh, blood Mist for our Get Out of Jail Free. When you're crowd controlled, near death, pop this thing, you're good to go. Corpse Explosion into Blighted Corpse Explosion. This is going to do some damage over time. This is going to be out of our rotation of Corpse Tendrils and Bone Spear. Then we got Grim Harvest to consume more Corpse to give us Essence. <clears throat> and three points into Fuel by Death for more damage after consuming a Corpse. Down into Curse Skills, we're taking None and we're doing Death Reese for more damage to Distant Enemies. Uh, and Death Embrace for more damage up to Close Enemies and then we take less damage from them. Down into our Corpse Skills, we're doing corpse tendrils into plague corpse tendrils this is one of our main skills of the build this is going to make everything slow make everything vulnerable and it's going to stun them all for three seconds which is just absolutely fantastic allow us to get some high crits here and do a lot of damage then we're taking pretty much every bone passive that you can down here three in serration for more damage uh for crit strike chance uh compound fracture for more um damage after we've crit critted 10 times with bone skills of illusion for more bone skill uh, damage to vulnerable enemies, which everything should be vulnerable. And then one point into rapid ossification. After we spend 100 essence, our bone skills get a cooldown reduction. This is mainly going to be for our ultimate bone storm. This is going to give us a massive damage reduction or debuff to enemies, as well as giving us a high uh, crit chance while it's active. And then our key passive is going to be ossified essence. Bone skills deal more damage for each point of essence above 50 when we cast them. Then our last two passive skills are going to be standalone. We have damage reduction for each minion that's not there. And then Memento Mori, which is sacrificing both skeletal mages and skeletal warriors, has their bonus increased by 60%. So beginning with which, into the Book of the Dead, <clears throat> we have sacrificed absolutely everything. So skeletal warriors sacrifice on skirmish to give us more crit chance. Sacrifice cold mages to give us more crit damage against vulnerable enemies or more damage against crit, uh, vulnerable enemies And then iron golem sacrifice for more crit strike damage. Absolutely fantastic So to play the build guys is pretty simple. It's pretty easy We're gonna create a corpse with bone splinters and bone, bone spear keep them at distance We're gonna hit corpse tendrils and make them be zapped in we're gonna spam bone spear once that's down and our essence is low We spam corpse explosion to get it back so let's do this boom we got one just to show you guys the rotation pulls them all in and then they're dead you pop course explosion to get our essence back as well as deal damage to them and then you can just absolutely spam everything's vulnerable corpse tendrils bring it all in i'm stuck there we go now against the leech you can pop bone storm which is really good it's a good debuff against single target and then you can just spam bone spear and destroy them. So the build plays really, really easy. Very, very cool. However, you are on low mobility. So you need to be very careful about that. But you have blood mist to get you out if you need to. Right? Bring corpse tendrils back in. Make everything vulnerable. Everything's dead. It's a done deal. Easy peasy. Then you can spam corpse explosion. Not only to do damage after your rotation of corpse uh, tendrils but to get essence back which helps you spam bone storm or excuse me bone spear so we're gonna come in and do this again right easy 
Rotate him around. Everything dies. Awesome. Right, we can spam bone sp uh, corpse explosion to get essence back. Super easy. The build is actually really fun, even with no minions. I actually really enjoy it. Corpse centrals, get out of my face. And you're actually surprisingly a little bit tankier than I thought when it comes to the build. However, you're just slow. That's the one thing that sucks. Oh, perfect. Corpse tendrils everything up. It, everything dies. Then we come in and hit Bone Storm. Just to kill everything. And that's a wrap. Everything is just dead. The rotation of the skills is actually really nice. Okay, so let's get into the gear that you need for the build, guys. Again, these one to level fifty one, these leveling to one to fifty builds are all using codexes, nothing that you cannot get automatically. So we have Helm of the Might, which is gonna give you basic uh, or damage reduction by using basic skills. Uh, disobedience for more armor when you deal damage. Uh, attacking enemies with the basic skill increases the damage of your next core skill, which is really good. Uh, wind striker, which is, on crits we get movement speed. This is the real only best way to get movement speed on top of normal um, modifications that are in your gear, like plus 15% move speed. Then on our weapon, bone spear's primary attack hits enemies beyond the first, making them vulnerable. And then we deal more damage to vulnerable enemies. Then we have necklace of grasping veins. <clears throat> for our corpse centrals gives us a higher crit strike for six seconds <clears throat> and we deal more damage to crit strike uh, enemies affected by corpse tendrils then we have basic skills attack faster to help build up our essence and then critical strikes with bone skills increases your essence regeneration for four seconds which will help us be able to spam bone spear so that is the build guys it's really really fun i do enjoy playing bone spear even without minions but again this build could be done with minions guys you drop uh, bone storm as well as some passes put them into um, skeletons and you can just farm from there which makes it a little bit easier instead of everything attacking you but i think this rotation works perfectly fine against big mobs so it is good like the video guys let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about bone spear i know it's like the main thing that necromancers play but i actually like blood surge even better and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch everybody in the next one peace